good. Are you going to have children? Um, no. No? No. I'm actually his first wife. You're his first wife? Right. Were you married before? No. So why are you telling... I didn't have any time. What? I didn't have any time. You didn't have any time to what? Get married before? No. You were doing so many audits? Absolutely. Mm. Are you living here now? No, just on holiday. Well, how's she seeing you on television? Well, she's here now. You, are you in a hotel? No. Right. You're in a hotel? Yes. Would you like to touch my monkey? What hotel gets Channel 35? The Marriott. The Marriott gets Channel 35? Wow. We love the Marriott. <laughs> wow. We weren't aware that we were in any hotels. And now you've made us so happy. <laughs> well, uh, what, what do people normally talk about on these shows? We, we normally talk about, uh, we only get calls from South Africans and usually from people who are on their honeymoon. So, you know, it's the same old talk that we have here. What do you want to talk about? We talk about, talk about sex. You know, we can say the word fucking on this program. Okay. Which is something that you gave up already. I gave it up? Well, you got married and you said it's over. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy, though. Without sex, you're happy? Yes. I don't believe it. <laughs> well, I, I wish you the best. Thank you. And uh, call back later when you, when you hear what other people have to talk about. Okay. All right. Cheers. Cheers. You're the greatest. Charlie Starone and the Mets. Sir. <laughs> Go get me a score on the Mets, would you? you want some water? I got I got a little water here. Mets, Mets, not the Mets. Meet the Mets. Don't don't What is that? Line three and four. Line two. Line three and line four. And line one says nothing. Line one had nothing. But line two. Hello, Steve. I love the Mets. Let's go Mets. <laughs> what, Steve? Are you a Mets fan or a Yankee fan? Yes. You a Mets? Yes. Let's go Mets. The Steve Grubuck show, the best show in the world. I've been watching you, Steve, since 1990. You look the same. You've got to help us find that monkey! Yeah, I looked exactly the same. What happened to your partner, the guy with the glasses, with the long hair? The guy with the glasses, with the long hair, yeah. he, he's in the other room. Can you come up? I said eight, hi. Eight to four. Sure. Eighth inning? Uh, top, it, top of the ninth. Top, top of yeah. the ninth. I lost my glasses and I got no hair. <laughs> Hello. Hello there, my friend. <laughs> Einstein. Hello. Much, much looking good tonight. Yes. Uh, David Wright, two home runs. Two two-run home runs. And Andy Chavez pulling it together. Jose Reyes looking all right. That'll be all right. Willie Randolph walking a little faster to the mound these days, you know. Yeah, yeah, that's that's important. They just need a little fire under their ass. That's yeah. all. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you were able to straighten the team out. You know. Yeah, I, I do. Why don't you swallow those peanuts? You got, your ass. You, got one, you got one hanging on your lip right now. Whoa! Whoa! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> <Nice>, Steve. <it's... laughs> yeah. Please do not make fun of my friends. Regis is a friend of mine. Does he watch your show? He watches my show. This, that was a loving tribute. How do you know he watches it? Because when I speak to him, he tells me he sees it. Do you see him at the gym? I don't see him at the gym. We have lunch. Steve, how would you like to cut on my shoe? <laughs> million dollar password. Well, <laughs> you know, I, I gave him a bill for two million dollars. Because both Adrian and myself are banned from being on the show since we know him. So, knowing that we were going to each win a million dollars, I handed him a bill for two million dollars. He still has not paid the bill. You know, I remember seeing Adrian on a, on a game show back in the 60s. Is that correct? I think it was the 30s, actually. Well, you're sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> Adrian won a $20,000 pyramid. Really? 
Yeah, <laughs> Who's the host? Who was the host? Dick Clark was the host. <laughs> you know when Dick could talk still? That's not nice. <laughs> that wasn't nice. That was a joke. We love Dick Clark. She actually, she actually made a, pre uh, uh, a present for him. She was in the Lucite design business, so she gave him a Lucite clipboard with his name on it. You have that on tape? No. No, that wasn't done on tape. That was just presented to him. Yeah, it was 19, uh, it was the, uh, the, the winter, it, was, it aired on Christmas Day, 1979. So what celebrity did she play uh, opposite? She won with Patty Duke. She, 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 she had, she went to the, it was so many fuck-ups. She played with Jay Johnson, who we saw in his uh, one-man show last year, and we went backstage to discuss the pyramid days with him. Did, did and, he remember her? Well, he remembered it was the first time he was on Pyramid. He didn't remember her. But uh, she also played with um, Nipsey Russell. And uh, she won with Patty Duke. And I think there was a fourth, a fourth player. She, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What line are you on? You're on line three. Hold on. She's on line one. Who else did you play with? I played with... Um Nipsey Russell and Sandy Duncan. Sandy Duncan. And, and uh, Patty Duke and Jay Johnson. Yes, do you know the score yet? 8 4, no? Um, yeah, but it was the top of the ninth and there was one out. Okay. So it may be over by now. It might be. I was on hold a long time. Well, I'm going to put you back on hold because I have to go talk about your pyramid career. Yes. It was a glorious time. <laughs> Best time of your life. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. He's gone. No, he's there. Yeah. So they won 8 4. Oh, good. That's three in a row. Sandy Duncan, did she have a, a lazy eye? Did, did she have a glass eye on the, on the back of those? Sandy days? Duncan had cancer in her eye, had her eye removed. Really? Yeah. I. I didn't know that. I Y E Y E. I understand your sense of humor, which is pretty ironic. I can't follow what you're talking about. I, I, Captain. I. Yeah. All right. Uh, two chicken dancers, and then. Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you'll get your chicken dancers when you, when you send us a fucking check for Goldstein. I really do. Oh, there we go. Balls. Balls. I give him balls whether or not he wants them. <laughs> Where's the wife? Did he hang up? Me. What? She left me. You, you better off. And where's the baby? She took him. Mm. How, how, do you, uh, how do you take care of food now that she's not around? Yeah, it's sour cream and uh, some baking soda in the refrigerator. It's great. That that sounds like a hell of a fucking meal. <laughs> Co cottage cheese, baking soda, and sour cream. That was the first funny thing out of this man's mouth in three weeks. <laughs> Whoa. The ratings are in. Dang. You suck. <laughs> I resent that. <laughs> Anything guys, else? Yeah, very important. It's my, it's my last show. I'm not calling ever again. Oh, uh, good. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Oh, it's it's you. Hello. Hello. Um, I think you need to add something to the sign. To the what? Turn your TV. Turn your TV sound down. Thank you. Yeah. But only when somebody's calling. Otherwise, you can't hear them. They can't hear you. They hear. They hear when the phone gets picked up. They don't hear nothing. If if you don't if if they don't have their sound on, they don't hear the show. They hear it through the telephone. Not then. Or through the grapevine. Not when they're with you. When. They're just watching you. We think they're smart enough to figure this out. Well, I don't think anybody's smart enough. Oh, because you turned the TV sound down, huh? Yes, of course. 